Hello, my name's Liz and in this lesson I would like to show you how to give examples in essay writing. Now I've got a sentence on the board with a linking device. Fast food has a high content of fat and sugar, which can lead to serious health issues like obesity and cardiac disease when eaten in quantity. Now, before I explain about which linking devices you need to use to give examples, let me just quickly explain the vocabulary. So we've got serious health issues or health problems. Obesity is the problem of being extremely overweight. Cardiac disease is heart disease or heart problems. When eaten in quantity, when means when someone eats a lot of it. Now, we've got the sentence and we've got the linking device like, we've got the commas before and after our examples. It's very important that you do use your commas correctly when you give examples. Now, the linking device we've got is like, and that is the first thing I want to teach you. This is the wrong linking device to use for essay writing. Like is a very informal linking device for giving examples and we use it in conversation and speaking. So it is completely wrong to use for an essay. So what type of linkers should we use? When we're giving illustrations of a word, for example, health issues, we should be using such as or namely, which means in particular, we're talking about these health problems. So don't use like, and instead you should use such as or namely. Now, it's also possible to change the structure of that sentence and present our example in a different way. Let me show you. Here, what I've done is I've put the examples at the beginning of the sentence. Obesity and cardiac disease are typical examples of the health issues that can be faced by people who regularly consume food with a high fat and sugar content. And I've changed the word eat to consume. So again, this is another very nice way of giving an example and illustrating the point of health issues in your sentence for your essay. Now let's have a look at some more ways that we can give examples. Another way to give examples. An increasing number of people are eating unhealthy food, regardless of the health warnings. For example, about 70% of people working in the UK resort to buying ready-made meals for convenience rather than doing home cooking. So what you can see here is rather than just giving an example to explain a word, what we're actually doing is giving a whole sentence as an example. And often that will contain statistics, but not always, it doesn't need to. And you can see here that the linking device we've used is for example. And after that, we've put a comma before giving the sentence. This helps the reader understand the meaning and the purpose of this sentence. Now, of course, we can change this linking device. Let me show you some varieties that you can use. If you wanted to change the words, for example, you could write, for instance, to illustrate, as an illustration, to give a clear example. And these can be just put in place directly without changing any of the grammar of the sentence. So even after you've written your essay, you can go back through your essay to check that you are using a range of linking devices for giving examples. And if you find that you've repeated, for example, you can quickly change it and put to illustrate. So these are ways of giving examples without changing the grammar. But if you do want to change the grammar, let me show you some more ways to give examples. Here you can see we've given the example, but we've changed the structure of the sentence slightly. This is exemplified by the 70% of working people in the UK who resort to buying ready-made meals for convenience. So you can see that we've got 
a completely different grammar structure. So I only recommend doing this if you feel confident with your grammar. Don't try to use it if your grammar is not very strong. Now let me give you an example of how to write this sentence without the statistic. It's also possible to write, this can be seen by the growing number of working people in the UK who resort to buying ready-made meals for convenience instead of working at home. So instead of putting 70%, we've put by the growing number of people. So you don't have to use statistics or data if you don't want to. If you want to get a list of very useful linking words for essay writing, then please visit my blog. I've put the link below the video. Right, thank you for watching. I hope it was useful. Press like if you thought it was, and I will see you again in another IELTS lesson.